The Center for Public Policy and Research, together with the Abuja School of Social and Political Third, have blamed uh, deliberate human interference for the poor outcome of the 2023 general elections. This is part of the outcome of a report published by the Abuja School, which was launched in Abuja on Thursday. Though the 2023 general elections may have come and gone, Nigerians have continued to evaluate its outcome to see if some lessons can be learned. The report explores all this and shows no debate around facts, facts admitted by all the reporters. But what we do as scholars is to interrogate what does this mean? What does it tell us about our electoral process? What does it tell us about democracy? Is it enough to have elections? We look around, and this is important because Niger, Mali, Burkina Faso, and I think Sierra Leone almost fell into it a few days ago. Guinea had it. We're having a new virus of military rule. Anyhow you caught it, it's a vote of no confidence on democracy. Because democracy has not delivered credible elections and have not delivered development. The question then arose, could there be an election without democracy? Which is also the theme of the launch as stakeholders attempted to make sense of the kind of democracy practice in Nigeria and in Africa. Building an electoral infrastructure and electoral practices without actually building the necessary instrument and practices of democracy. That is a very dangerous thing for society to find itself. And it can have hundreds of billions of naira with uncountable maybe hundreds of millions of foreign you know you know resources poured into our electoral system and governing our electoral process and we end up producing an electoral scenario or electoral scenarios that is devoid of genuine or profound democratic content we have democracy but there are no democrats or we have democracy that can, it's nominal in the sense that you just picked about democracy. When you define the true meaning of democracy, and I'm looking at it from, even from the first, the initial process of government of the people, it means the people need to be involved in the process. So when you weaponize poverty, you impoverish the people, the desire for people to come out to vote, you militarize elections and so on. What we are doing and calling democracy is a far cry. For me, therefore, democracy, so-called in Nigeria, is nothing but civil rule. We need to have democracy. And things must be called in their proper names. And I have seen this a problem uh, in our conversation in our country, the intellectuals appear to be justifying the, the charade. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.